Hey Mike here, in this video I'm going to show you how to set the robot. Let's do it. When you first get your robot, or when you first load in to set, you're going to roll it in, you're going to put the weights on, put the feet down, get it nice and stable, put the shrouds on. I'm going to go over all those steps in this video. So first thing I'm going to do is roll it in. Okay, so usually it doesn't transport with the weights on it. Uh, but to put the weights on, you just put them on log cabin style, right onto those posts, and, and that's it. At this point, I want to make a note before we go ahead and put the feet down and raise it up off the casters, that the position of the robot is, is really important to have right for your move and for your shot. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on that here, uh, the, the positioning. We'll have a few other videos that will go over you know, uh, your typical moves um, that you're going to do and the best position for that, uh, that move. But let's assume this is where I want it for the shot. I'm going to go ahead and crank down the feet and lift it up off those casters. First thing I'll do is hand tighten these feet all the way around. Then I'm going to loosen this jam nut. I'm just gonna turn it counterclockwise a few turns, make sure I've got plenty of space to actually lift up. Okay, now I'm gonna use the hand crank. Some people like to use an impact drill or a drill for this. It does make it a lot faster, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you with this hand crank. All right, so I like to turn it eight to 12 times on each foot. I found that that usually results in a, uh, a good height of the robot. Okay, once I've done that, I just, I'm just gonna check and make sure that my casters down here are off the ground. And they are, they're nice and loose. Um, and now I'm gonna check for stability. So I'm just gonna stand up, gonna give the robot a shake this way and that way. I feel a little bit of movement right here. So I'm just gonna adjust, uh, give it a little bit of a crank right here until it feels nice and tight. And that feels really good, nice and stable, um, which is really important. Uh, that's one of the main things you want to do to make sure that your footage is stable, is make sure that your base is stable. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hand tighten these jam nuts. And then I'll use the hand crank again, just to make it nice and snug, tighten those jam nuts down. It doesn't take much, just a, a little bit of tension. All right, and those jam nuts are important. Um, that is what keeps the actual threads from rocking in the, in the holes there. Um, so if, the, if you did feel any shake before, once those jam nuts are, are locked down, it's gonna really feel a lot more stable. Okay, so that's uh, the feet. We've got the weights on there. It feels really stable. The next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the shrouds on. These rubber hooks are pretty easy to use. You just pull and lock it onto the peg. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on the outriggers. Actually, just one to show you how to do it and I'll let you do the rest of them. So I've got my outrigger uh, and the bolts and then an eight millimeter hex wrench.
Okay, so I've got it bolted on. Um, the foot is actually off the ground. I don't know if you can see it right where it is, but uh, as a note on these outriggers, they are not to support the robot. They're not to uh, take any weight. They are just for anti-tip. Uh, it's to prevent any tipping of the robots on a really fast move. Um, it's just for an extra layer of security in that way. So. With that said, you just wanna hand tighten these feet. You don't use a crank, uh, you don't crank it up at all. Just hand tighten it and, and that'll be it. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, and that's it. Uh, you repeat that three times, you've got your four outriggers on there and you're ready to roll. Thank you.